Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a BoxyCharm unboxing. This is July's BoxyCharm. So if you're interested to see what products I got in my BoxyCharm, then definitely continue watching. Also, if you're not yet subscribed to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe. I do upload three times a week, Mondays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. This is going to be a bonus video, so. But pretty much I do upload the three days a week. So if you want to see what I got in my BoxyCharm, then definitely continue watching. what BoxyCharm is. It is a $21 monthly subscription box. You get four to five full size items and $21 a month and I believe that is all. So um, everything is full size which is amazing and I do want to mention my box did weigh 0.7 pounds. If I know some people usually ask that. This month's box is an all natural type of box. Here is what the pamphlet looks like. Very beautiful. So the first thing I see here is this Elemis Superfood Vital Veggie Mask. Nourishing Prebiotic Green Mask advanced skincare so this product retails for $35 I've never tried this brand before but definitely looking forward to adding more masks to my collection I need to actually do a mask tonight so we'll have to test that out next thing I see here is this Luxi Gaia um, brush set this retails for $30 so it's a three-piece brush set um, and I saw this packaging. I thought it was pretty nice. Um, when I saw, I did see what I had in my box before I'm filming it, and I thought, I'm like, ooh, this looks like an like a natural type box. And then I saw the pamphlet, and of course, it does say it's all natural. But here is what the brushes look like. You get a flat shader brush, like a foundation brush, and more like a crease slash blending slash concealer brush i'm not really sure so it says large eye blending this is more on the stiffer side than what i would use so i would probably use this to like blend out concealer as well but the handles are like wood they're pretty cool i thought they were really nice maybe i can show you guys if my camera focuses there we go but it's a really unique like handle really nice i thought these were really pretty and then um in this box as well, I received this Appeal Gel Liner in the shade Desert Taupe. This retails for $21, and I'm actually really happy that we got a gel liner instead of like the pencil liners that we usually get from this brand. Um, I do find that the pencils are pretty much like stiff, and they kind of hurt the eyes a little bit. Um, I think I gave mine to my mom because she usually just lines her lids, which is fine. But when you're trying to apply it in your waterline, it kind of tugs. So again, this is a gel liner in the shade Desert Taupe. And I don't really have a lot of these kinds of colors. It kind of looks, it's not like a dark brown. It's a really nice shade and it did glide on really nicely as well as you can see there. But I will definitely be using this in my waterline and also on my lids. I've really been enjoying like brown liners for the, I'm um, just lining my lids. Next up I see here is this Alamar Lip Gloss. This is the Mother of Pearl Gloss in the shade Sirenita. This retails for $10. It's a very beautiful like pinky, like orangey type gold glitter in it. And let's go ahead and swatch. Ooh, this is very pretty. It kind of has like a gold shift to it. Very nice. I do have a lip gloss on right now. I'm actually wearing the Dominique Cosmetics gloss that we got in last month's BoxyCharm. Um, this is in the shade Peach Tea. So this is what I'm wearing on my lips on top of the Bite Beauty Chai lipstick. But this one looks really nice. Looking forward to trying this. And then the last product we got in our box from Butter London. This is the Natural Goddess Eyeshadow Palette. This retails for $32. I like the packaging on this. It definitely is like, it looks like wood. I don't know if it is. I don't think it is. It doesn't feel like it, but I love the packaging on this. And I think this is a really beautiful, like everyday type of eyeshadow palette. If I saw this online, I wouldn't buy it, I don't think, but it's actually really nice that we got it in our BoxyCharm. That way I can try it out. I'm definitely going to keep this so we can swatch some of these shades. Ooh, these shimmers are super pretty. So I'm just gonna swatch the shimmer shades. So let's see, here's the green. 
these are very pretty shades like natural type shades um they aren't like super metallic -y or anything like that like once i swatched them but they seem like to be pigmented and really nice so looking forward to trying the palette so those are all the products I got in this month's BoxyCharm. I'm going to add up everything I got in my box so we could see what my value is on this box. So my box retails $128 and I paid $21 for this box. This box, what I'm looking forward to is probably the palette and the mask. The um, brushes here, I don't really use these kinds of brushes like the foundation brush. If you don't use these types of brushes for foundation, I would recommend you guys using this for like masking. So these two would pair really well. I don't really use these kinds of brushes. I do find that it's kind of stiff. This one's nice to pack on the lid. So I think the gloss will be nice. I don't really have a lot of glosses and I've, I'm liking that we're getting more Alamar um, cosmetics in our boxy charm, which is nice. So I'm looking forward to trying this and the palette and the liner seems that it will be good overall this month's box was okay it wasn't like amazing or anything but it wasn't too bad um let me know if you got anything different than i did in my box down in the comment section below if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up please subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you all in my next video bye